Hi guys, I'm Steve-O. I am a certified tank killing machine. In this video, I'm going to go through the basics to help you be an AT specialist. The anti-tank role is massively important in a lot of operations. Often, you are the only thing between one of these bad boys and your squishy, vulnerable, pathetic, weak squad. But fear not, after this video, you will be a fully qualified anti-tank killing tank killer man. Please leave a comment at the end of the vid so I can send you a certificate. Right, let's get into it. First is LAT. These are your single use launchers. They are very light and compact, allowing every member in your fire team to carry one. This is the perfect launcher just to have on you if your primary role isn't AT. And I guarantee it will save you in a pinch. These launchers have a limited range and accuracy and are best used within 200 meters. They can take out APCs and IFVs without any issues, however tanks can cause some problems. These short range systems are best used defensively and I wouldn't be too reliant on them. Next is M80. These are your reusable launchers. They are a bit heavier and you need to carry the rockets as well, so usually you would have one, maybe two in your squad. These things are the most reliable launchers and will be your friend in the majority of situations. Generally, they pack a bigger punch than LAT and have a better range and accuracy to boot. These launchers can have a, a variety of sights that can include night vision and even rangefinders. With this, some of these launchers can engage targets more than a kilometre away. MAT launchers will take care of the majority of your armoured foes in a single shot. However, it sometimes needs a bit of help against heavily armoured tanks. HAT is the final and arguably most deadly type of launcher. These things are extremely heavy, and often you'll only be able to carry one round at a time. They can also be on static launchers or on top of them. These launchers fire massive guided anti-tank missiles that either lock onto or are wire guided onto your targets. These systems will take out any armoured target without fail, and can hit targets multiple kilometres away. However, due to their massive weight and limited ammo capacity, they are usually mission dependent. Now I've gone over the weapon systems, let's talk about what you're going to be using them against. If you know what you're up against, then you can make sure you are the best prepared before contact. The main types of vehicles you are likely to be up against include technicals, APCs, IFVs, other armoured vehicles and tanks. With LAT, you can confidently destroy or disable most vehicles up to some light tanks, but only at close range. MAT will take out any of them, but will struggle to take out some of the heavily armoured tanks, requiring a solid shot to the rear where the engine of the tank is. HAT will easily take out anything, however it should really only be utilised for heavy tanks or targets that are outside the range of other launchers. How quickly you respond to these threats will either net you a quick tank kill, or get you and your entire squad wiped out. You need to respond effectively to avoid any embarrassments. If you get audio or visual of a tank, react quickly. Either move to somewhere where you can engage, or dig in and wait for the vehicle to come to you. Either way, your job's pretty dangerous. Whilst everyone else gets to sit in cover, you need to stick your head out of a parapet against some of the deadliest bits of kit infantry can go against. Always remember three important rules. Your priority is always destroying armoured targets. If you don't do it, who will? Normal infantry are defenceless against these things. They are relying on you to help them out. Do not put yourself at unnecessary risk to destroy a target. Just because there is a target, doesn't mean you should be too gung-ho trying to kill it. Worst case, you get yourself killed before you even get hold of shots. Try and be smart about it. Wait for the target to come to you, or take a teammate with you for cover. Finally, do not put your team at unnecessary risk when you are engaging a target. If you take a long range shot and miss, you've just pissed off a vehicle that might not have been engaging. Suddenly, you and your team are being slotted. There is no need to be impatient. And also, don't black flash your team. Remember, there is a danger cone behind you whenever you shoot. Either ask someone to clear your backblast before firing, or be aware of your surroundings in urgent situations. Backblast can hurt you as well, which is sometimes necessary for an urgent shot, so don't see it as a limitation. Finally, practice. Jump into editor and practice shooting vehicles. Vehicles that are moving or far away can be difficult to hit. It is also worth practicing firing when being injured. Your arm isn't always going to be stable. 
Congratulations, you are now a fully qualified anti-tank killer tank man. Uh, anti-tank man. Anti-tank killing tank killer man. Please remember to like and subscribe so I can waste more of your time.